the magic word Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun Welcome back to The Secret Kindergarten. I'm your host, Gino. And I'm going to tell you a parable. (laughs) What's a parable? A parable is a short story with a lesson to be learnt, with a moral in the story. And this one's called The Coat. Do not go out without your warm coat, Tom. It is a hard frost, and the snow lies thick on the ground. And you will catch cold if you do. And then poor Tom will be ill. Ah, but I feel quite warm. Yes, you do now. But see what a large fire there is here. Out of doors there is no fire, and the cold wind blows, and if you have no warm coat on, you will feel cold. But Tom thought he knew best. So he went out with no coat on, and he caught a bad cold and cough, (laughs) and he was put to bed quite ill. Now Jack and Will and Tom were to have some fine sport on the frozen pond in the farm. But Tom was too ill to go. When he was in bed, he thought how silly he had been. To think he knew better than his kind friends. And then he said to himself, he would try and listen to his friend's advice when he got well. A knife, a pair of scissors, or a match may save your body or kill it in a very few moments of time. You have the choice as to how you use them. You can use your match to light a fire which may cook breakfast for hundreds of people. Only a lighted match may burn a city. A train of cars will carry people spinning along like the wind in safety. So long as the engineer keeps his head clear, his engine in order, and the tracks hold firm. But if the engineer stops paying attention to his task, how long would all those people be safe in the train? It is not enough to learn how to light a match or run a steam engine. We must know how to bring the greatest good to others in all that we do. So we go forward on that small old path, the journey of life. Guess what? It's prayer time. But don't worry. I'll read the prayer. You can just sit back and listen. 
This one is the vision of visions. This is very, very old. It's from a book called the Bhagavad Gita. This is so old, I can't even believe it. Here we go. Beloved Lord, adored of gods, behold, thy body holds all fleshly tenants, seers fine, and diverse angel gods divine, dwelling deep in mystery cave, the serpent nature's forceful crave, though fierce and subtle, now is tame, forgetful of her deadly game, and sovereign Bar Brahma, god of gods, on lotus seat is snug, secured. Great cosmic bodied lord of worlds, oh, I behold, again behold, thee all and everywhere, thy countless arms, trunks, mouths and eyes, Yet drooping dark, my knowledge lies about thy birth and reign and ending here. This day, O blazing furious flame, O blinding ray, thy focused powers aglow, thy name spreads everywhere to darkest abysmal lair, gilded with a crown of stars and wielding mace of sovereign power. Thou whirlest forth, O burning Phoebus, thine evolution's circling discus. Immortal Brahma, all supreme, thou cosmic shelter, wisdom's theme. Eternal Dharma's guardian true, thou diest not I ever knew. O birthless, fleshless, deathless one, I see thine endless working arms, thine ever-watching eyes, of suns and moons the staring skies, and from thy mouth spumes throbbing flame, as utterest thou the Aum, thy cosmic name. Thy self-born luster shields from harm, and all creation distance flung doth warm. O sovereign soul, twixt earth and home of gods, directions all and earthly sods, all high abodes and all encircling spheres, by thee pervaded far and near. The words triune, or struck by fear, thy dreadful wondrous form adore. In thee the gods their entry make, with folded hands, afraid, some prey to shelter take in thee. The seer's great, and heaven's path, successful ones, with superb chance of peace, do worship thee and thee alone. The eleven lamps of heaven, the twelve bright suns, the grisly eight, the starry lustres great, aspiring hermits, patron gods, the agents of the cosmic lords, the twin-born princes strong, of valour known so long. Two score and nine noil breezes force that binds the atom close. The long past guardian spirits all, the demi goblins, demi gods, and demons tall, and mighty ones in spirit's path, in wonder gaze upon thy blazoned worth. I thee behold, colossal armed, with starry eyes and countless cheeks, with endless hands and legs adorned with lotus feet. Thy chasmed mouth with doomsday's teeth Doth yawn to swallow swooning worlds above, beneath, 
and leaves a distilled joyous awe in me. Thy grandeur and I Thy grandeur, I and all are wonder struck to see. To view the bowels of the void, deep, all filled with thee, thy gaping mouth and diverse hues of fiery, lustrous body. O Vishnu of the flaming sight, thou quite overpowerest me, my peace dost fright. Ferocious teeth and deadly fires do howl. In mouths of thine that at me scowl. Directions for are lost and gone. Compassion show, I find no peace alone. O cosmic guardian, Lord of gods, be pleased to accept my humble pleading words. The sons of senses swayed with kingly pride. With ego, karmic habit, worldly lure abide, and wait to leap upon our wisdom's chiefs. And yet they all do ride the race of death to fall and hide forever in thy devouring mouth, adorned with crushing, cruel teeth uncouth. The victor and the vanquished must thine offspring bro. Blah, Thine offspring both, the righteous and ungodly ones. Thy love still claim, yet all some day shall kiss the dust. And sleep on common floor of earth, the shattered skulls of some are seen, as caught thy greedy teeth between. As diverse, restless, watery waves of river branches all do crave to force through crowded wavelets way and meet where Neptune's home long lay. Even so, heroic streams of life do plunge to meet in maddest strife. Within thy foaming mouth of flaming sea where sparks of lives all dance in thee. As insects lost in beauty's game, all swiftly, thoughtless, rush to flame. So fog-born passion's fires pretend to glow like heavenly light of thine. And draw on mortals to attend the trumpet call to deathly line. Thy mouth ablaze doth bring to gaze its leaping tongues to lick the angry blood of strong and weak. Thou, gourmand God, dost eat with hunger infinite. O Vishnu, thou dost scorch the worlds with all-pervading fiery torch. Be pleased, O first of gods, I ache to know, primeval Lord. True who thou art, O fiery mood, yet so benign and good. O tell to me thy royal will, for it I know not still. The blessed Lord then said, In guise of endless doom, I come as avaricious time to seize and room, in burning more of mine the weakling's awe, and all the mortal meat of weary worlds of deathly change, and treat them with my nectar life. To new and fearless, bitter strife, even if thou dost forbear to slay thy wicked foes, still they, and warriors all in brave array, will sure and certain timely have to fall, ah, in my righteous teeth of law withal. Arise, awake, arise, awake. Dash thou upon the foe, the flesh a captive make, and win the victor's fame with battle-hunted game, wealth of the king, of peace, and heaven's kingdom bring. I know right now the happenings all, that mystic future forth doth call, and thus thy foes and warriors true, 
long, long ago I slew. Er shalt thine agent hand, that I would wheel to land thy foes on death's dim shore. Now understand, my agent now, oh this is how I work my plans. The universe, through instruments diverse, tis I who slew and yet will slay the senses train. Through thee, as through both past and future ones, my soldiers sane. Right. Through sitting that through that, we all deserve to listen to some music from Nancy Stewart of NancyMusic.com. Mama's gonna rock you in her arms, in her arms, in her arms. Mama's gonna rock you in her arms. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. Daddy's gonna rock you in his arms. In his arms, in his arms, Daddy's gonna rock you in his arms. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. Grandma's gonna rock you in her arms, in her arms, in her arms. Grandpa's gonna rock you in his arms. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. And he's gonna rock he's you gonna rock in her arms, in her arms, in her arms. Uncle's gonna rock Uncle's you gonna rock in his arms. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. Cousins gonna rock you gonna rock in their arms, in their arms, in their arms. Cousins gonna rock you gonna rock in their arms. In love, family's gonna rock the town of in its arms, in its arms, in its arms. Family's gonna rock the town of in its arms. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. Pretty baby, you're surrounded in love. the end of another half hour of the secret kindergarten and a big hello to mitzi77 in the chat and a super big hello to flea another good friend in the chat and i just hope flea you have a good day out there at work and flea is a good person who sometimes gets angry because good people get angry and when you get angry all you kids out there you've got to let your angries out and it's okay 
that's what you got to do. Because you don't get angry for no reason. You get angry because of naughty people out there. And naughty people are not good. So it's good to be angry when other people are bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> And I'm going to keep saying it. That's, that's pretty much the whole point of the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show for you kids. I want you to feel angry and get angry and be angry. If you get angry. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> Being angry is not naughty. Being naughty is naughty. Being angry at naughty is being good. <laughs> All right. And I've got a little activity. This is for you people on the side of the planet that is going to get snow. <laughs> have you got snow where you live? Or have you got sun? Probably most of you have sun or a bit of rain. <laughs> but anyway, here's an idea for those people coming up to winter or going to the mountain. Maybe you live in a mountain and there's snow up there. This is called a snow pyramid. Using several different types of containers as molds, create a pyramid from these oddly sized blocks. Not only will you be thrilled with filling up the buckets and tubs with snow, but you'll also be amazed at the sculpture that you've built. And you know what? You can do that at the beach too. You can do a sand pyramid. That's basically like a sand castle. So what do you need? You need a plastic scoop or a large spoon or a, a hand shovel. And you need some empty plastic tubs and containers. And that's really it. And you want to choose a plastic tub or container that looks cool that you can stack. So you just use the scoop or the spoon to fill the containers with snow or sand and pack the snow firmly into each container and turn it upside down on the ground to release the snow. Place four of the snow shapes side by side on the ground. Then fill the containers with snow again and stack more snow shapes on top of the first ones to create a snow pyramid together. And then see what sort of games develop. That's it. Pretty simple idea. But excellent if you live near snow or sand. You want the sand to be wet, obviously. So you could be near a lake, river, or a beach. But I think there's more sand near the beach. And that's it. So we've reached the end of the show. Oh, Mitzi was hoping it was another half hour. I think I said that wrong, Mitzi. <laughs> Silly me. I've only had three sips of tea. <laughs> All right. So, if you want to listen to this show... I have all of the shows put up on my website, thesecretkindergarten.com. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on... You can find them on everything. You can find them on BitChute. You can find them on Odyssey. And they're edited. And they're for kids. And they're great to just put on for kids to listen to. You can have them on in the background while you're doing activities. Or you can put them on for kids at nighttime when you want to leave them in their room. And that's it. Yay! We'll see you at the next one. Bye. I love you. Bye.